Welcome to the 2021-22 NCAA Men's Basketball Weekly Whistle Video, number 13. This is J.D. Collins, National Coordinator of Men's Basketball Officiating. As a reminder, officials have been directed to continue their efforts to reduce physicality to create freedom of movement. This weekly whistle video will focus on a new trend in college basketball. With the advent of increased three-point attempts, many dribblers are entering the paint area, pivoting, and then passing the ball to a teammate for a three-point attempt. Officials must be aware of this tactic and penalize the offensive player when his time in the paint exceeds three seconds. Rule 9-9.3 says, The three-second count is suspended when a player who having been in the three second lane for less than three seconds dribbles or moves in immediately to try for field goal. The player shall not pass the ball instead of trying for goal. In this case, it is a violation when a player exceeds three seconds in the lane and there is no try for goal. Number three white dribbles into the lane, pivots, and then passes the ball to his teammate for a three point attempt. Once number three white enters the lane, he is allowed three seconds in the lane unless he is making a move to try for field goal. In this case, number three white does not stay in the lane for three seconds. Number 13 red dribbles into the lane, pivots, and then passes the ball to his teammate. Once number 13 red enters the lane, he is allowed three seconds in the lane unless he is making a move to try for field goal. In this case, number 13 red does stay in the lane for longer than three seconds. This is a violation and needed to be called. Number 11 white dribbles into the lane, pivots, and tries to pass the ball to his teammate. Once number 11 white enters the lane, he is allowed three seconds in the lane unless he's making a move to try for field goal. In this case, number 11 white does stay in the lane for at least three seconds. This three-second lane violation was correctly called by the center official. Number 24 white dribbles into the lane, pivots, and tries to pass the ball to his teammate. Once number 24 white enters the lane, he is allowed three seconds in the lane unless he is making a move to try for field goal. In this case, number 24 white does stay in the lane for at least three seconds. This three-second lane violation was correctly called by the lead official. Officials are aware of this trend in college basketball. Officials have been instructed to not split hairs on the enforcement of this type of three-second violation, but should penalize when an advantage is gained. The 2021-22 regular season is in full swing. This is a great time of year for everyone that loves college basketball. Good luck to your team this season. And thank you for your interest in college basketball.